this lighting so bad right sorry about the lighting but i needed to intro this vlog because we're basically starting some of our is renovation an american word because i keep saying renovation but that sounds really american but what else do you call it when you're doing things to your house i think it's oh, renovation. I don't, know. I don't know but yeah we're basically doing some bits essentially it's to get ready ready for the baby even though it's obviously still quite early but we just happen to have builders be able to start now but we've actually started our spare room so i should have showed you it before to be honest i'm really annoyed at myself that i didn't but when we get home i'll show you the progress with that we're basically turning that into more of like a storage room and then um because it wouldn't have really been big enough for a nursery and then we've got a new bedroom that's already been built we actually need to paint today which i'm gonna obviously document for you guys and then our bedroom now will become the nursery so yeah we're just heading to the range because we need to get some paint we're just doing a whitewash today um because it needs to get a second fix still and then um we've still got like lots of sorting out and stuff like that to do so i'm just gonna vlog as much as i can i was gonna just save everything and do it into like one massive vlog but then i thought but that'll be weeks time still and it'll be a massive really long vlog so i thought we'll do it in parts and then you can see like part one this weekend and maybe even another part next weekend depending on how much more we get done but yeah that's the plan so far so we're just gonna go to the range and get some homey bits and some paint so i will see you in the range <laughs> right i didn't actually vlog in the range because we literally didn't get it we literally just got paint which we're just mixing now we're just basically doing a whitewash it's quite dark in here though so i don't know how much we'll see but i will set you up i'm going to start near the windows just so there's a bit more light um and then i'll just set you up we're literally just whitewashing yeah right i just need to pour some <laughs> Sorry. i just need to oh it's dripping everywhere dan the paint's dripping oh, i suppose i don't know um yeah, I just need to pour some water into that then. And I'm starting with done starting with the ceilings. <laughs> and I'm just gonna start with the normal walls. But no, I might start over by the door actually. Yeah, I'll start by the door. But yeah, I'll set you up in time so you can see what we're doing. But it's really not that interesting, just literally whitewashing it. But this is the new room and then it will break through. You can see where they've started to break through. That basically goes into our wardrobe now. Um, which won't be our wardrobe, obviously this will be our room and we're just going to have our wardrobes here that will also be closed up, that's just so we can get in and out at the moment until we've broken through but yeah, it's literally a massive, massive room right, oh not focusing love that right i'm gonna have to show you the color tomorrow to be honest obviously it's too, way too dark for you to be able to see and you can see a little bit um i'll show you properly tomorrow in the light but this is and it's not even focusing love that this is basically the first coat done dan's parents actually came and helped us in the end as well um i'm going to show you the inside of our new cupboards right so this was our spare room it's now going to become like a sort of storage room slash office for dan so these are the cupboards we went with they're just ikea packs um dan actually put them all together by himself which i'm actually really proud of him because i would not be able to do that we've not uh, like finished obviously filling them up or anything yet this is basically gonna have like dan's work stuff papers like that stuff like that um for now i've put a lot of like baby stuff because obviously until the nursery's done we've got nowhere to store the baby stuff then these boxes are all my like vintage stuff um which i know is a bit like extra obviously that won't stay there forever um and then we've got coats more coats and then some shoes and then so far i've done a couple of the drawers but again haven't finished like filling them up but i've just got my vintage stuff in there for now and then this one my favorite drawer i literally nearly cried when i was putting this drawer together it's basically just things i've bought for the baby so far but obviously this will go in the nursery it's just for now so i don't have to like just have it on the floor or anything um i got these for free by the way i'm not gonna be buying pamper branded stuff <laughs> um and a lot of this stuff i actually got for free and then i got this little blanket the other day and then there's just some like baby grows and stuff and some gifts like dan's grandparents got us that um so yeah and then there i've got my milton sterilizer my exercise ball and my pumps which i think i've i don't know if i've showed you in a video before i feel like i have i feel like it was in my everything i've bought so far for the baby so yeah if you do want to see obviously all this stuff in more detail then go watch that video um i've also got a massive bag up there full of baby clothes and then this side is definitely not done yet obviously this was just a dumping ground whilst we were like moving everything around so this is usually my like beauty area so i need to sort through that still i've actually got an extra shoe shelf down there as well that we didn't put up but we might put it up and then i bought this lampshade to go up on the likes i just feel like that will look a bit nicer um and then yeah and then this will obviously eventually i don't know if i've said this but eventually this beauty table will go into our bedroom our new bedroom because it's like plenty big enough and then dan can have a little desk there so he's got like a little office area to work from 
so yeah still got my friend's christmas present i need to drop off to her so it's a work in progress and it means that the house has been really really messy i mean we've just literally had loads of burnable rubbish and stuff that we've just taken down now um obviously all these shoes here were like overflowing so i can now move them into the shoe shelf so it's not overflowing and then this is the rest of the stuff that we had to take out of that room that now needs to go back in or getting sorted through sorting that's not a word sorted through and then yes yeah, same with this like i can put this stationery and work paperwork and stuff in the shelf so it's a bit of a sorting out job now to be honest so yeah it's also obviously meant that the kitchen is very messy i actually bought these boxes from the range which i'm going to try and which i'll do as well sorting out i think i'll just put you on a time lapse for the rest of this video guys i'm going to try and sort through this but this is basically stuff that's on vintage as well but it's like non-clothing stuff so i'm going to sort through these and put them in there and then they can go on top of the um unit the new cupboard so it's just a bit neater rather than just this box that's literally falling apart to be honest i might have to chuck some of this stuff away that just doesn't look like it's going to sell because i can't hold on to it forever do you know what i mean like the point is i want to get rid of it on vintage so i'll also put my vintage in the comments so that if anyone is after anything or wants to have a look then they can look honestly i put things up for so cheap like most things are up for a pound honestly i just want to get rid of it and have the space then this was again in the spare room um i don't really know what to do with it because it does have my like hair bits and makeup in but i thought if i don't use it anymore that would be really cute for the baby's room actually and i could just change the basket i've seen these like baskets for like with like rainbows on which would be really cute as well um yeah obviously i'm gonna do a separate video for like the nursery i'll just put you up there for a second so we can chat um sorry that i literally look like a stay up and painting all day you know your hands just feel awful as well like i just need to smother myself in hand cream but like i was saying the nursery video will be a completely separate video probably because i just want to make a whole dedicated video to that we have decided the theme we're going for um, we actually think we've decided on a name for the baby as well, but we're like 90% sure, so I'm not really saying it to people. Um, but yeah, I'll do a separate video for that. Um, hopefully our the thing doesn't change. I don't think it will. I feel like I'm pretty set on it. But yeah, for now, I'm just going to sort through these bits, and then that's that big box off. I just honestly hate living in clutter. Like, it really bugs me so much. So anything that I can get done now, like tidying up, is just like a more peaceful Sunday. I mean, obviously, I'm probably still going to be doing a lot of sorting out on Sunday which I'll carry on vlogging for until I need to edit this video but yeah for now I'm just going to sort through these bits I don't know how well you'll be able to see it I don't know where I can put you you'll probably still see won't you so things like this like okay thank you so much for that this is just like a clear makeup case I might just get rid of that I don't think it's going to sell and it's not really there's not really any point whereas like these shoes I feel like probably still would sell but honestly I haven't got a lot of space and same with like I don't know if you can see but like this bag so if you see anything you like guys head straight to my vintage because i just want to get rid of it to be honest um but yeah i'm just gonna do that for now i might put you on a time lapse on the floor or something actually right i've come into the new room in the light so you can see the color the best representation for the color is here obviously by the window it's like a sort of mushroomy but also creamy i don't know it's just really nice um so yeah we get to we, this is just one coat so we need to do another coat um especially on the ceiling you can see there's loads of marks still but it's not bad for one coat and it was literally only the cheapest paint and let me show you the paint color oh my camera keeps not focusing here because the lighting wait a second oh it will focus there you go look that's the color cancun is that cancun um it's literally just being q's own brand it was 22 pound for a pot and g Lux was like 34 so i was like you know what i'm not spending 34 pound but it would have been 70 pounds so yeah this is the first coat i'm really really excited to move in here it'd be so nice we've still got a box in all that the electrician's still got to come and put all our like heaters and obviously our lights and stuff up but yeah this is the first coat right so i did just film a clip in the new bedroom but it is obviously now the next day it's sunday i'm actually 17 weeks pregnant today which i'm really excited about because i feel like obviously i'm nearly halfway there and i feel like that's a massive milestone to get to but i thought i'd quickly show you i just got a um vintage parcel come through the post and it's all baby boy clothes so i thought i'd just show you quickly um and then i'm going to show you how we've left the spare room and then probably finish up this vlog just because i know it's not been a very long vlog and probably a very interesting one but honestly that's just what my life's been like this weekend it's been very hectic where i've been like getting things ready and doing some renovating and stuff so i just try to film when i can but i'm honestly i know i'm not the best vlogger like i do genuinely forget but here we go but yeah i just got loads of little bodysuits because to be honest i think this is what he's going to be in in the summer because well it depends how hot it is obviously these are all like newborn i think let me check i'm pretty sure they're newborn they're first size so up to nine pounds realistically i don't think i'm gonna have a nine pound baby i mean literally look at me but here we go so i just got loads of different colors of that this was a bundle and i think i paid like four or five pounds it's got little stars on it's so cute 
for all of this so yeah vintage is definitely the place to go for baby clothes it's so cheap and especially when you're getting like newborn or like tiny baby stuff because you, you obviously don't know the size he's going to be so any small stuff you get you run the risk of him just never being in it whereas if you get bigger stuff you know it obviously at some point he will be in it so i'm going to get all my sort of like smaller stuff from vintage just so i'm not sort of wasting money um and i can always pop it back on vintage if he doesn't wear them um and then these ones are zero to three months so he probably will be in these at some point they're just like these little rompers got alligators on thought they're pretty cute um but yeah i just selected a load of stuff from the ladies page just because it's just the cheapest way of doing it then a cute little outfit these little joggers it's in like a mustardy yellow color and then the top's just got little elephants on i don't know if you can see that yeah so cute and then there's other two other little outfits so again i don't know if he'll be in this because i didn't realize but this one's tiny baby and it's obviously like long sleeve and then it comes with trousers so it all depends on the weather as well to be honest but we'll see obviously i have no idea how big he's gonna be so it's better just to be prepared and get like a range of stuff in my opinion that's what i'm doing but i literally love this outfit it's like a sagey green color and then it's got the little leggings i'm sorry how tiny are they they're so cute i literally can't wait like i just wish i could skip to 40 weeks now oh i'm just so excited but yeah i thought i'd quickly show you them because i was just excited and they came in the post um i'm gonna quickly show you my spare room now so i mean the house is still pretty messy and i was gonna do like a tidy up with me in this vlog but do you know what do you guys really want to see me tidy up my kitchen probably not and it's just so messy so i thought do you know what I'm just going to show you the spare room instead. So we've filled up a lot more things actually now. We've put loads of stuff at the top as well. I've got this lampshade. I think I showed you this yesterday. Um, that I want to put on the on the light bulb. Just because I feel like it will make it a bit nicer. I still need to put some more coats in there. And put some more shoes in there. Because I don't know if I showed you. But our shoe thing over there is just overflowing. And that's the whole point of why we got those. So I need to do that. I've put some more vintage stuff down there. I don't know if I showed you this drawer yesterday. But this is my little bobby drawer stuff i've collected so far i actually got these for free i got quite a lot of things for free to be fair and then the rest is just stuff from gifts from people look at this little elephant blanket i love it um and i got this little blanket rainbow the other day from aldi and yeah it's just a couple of things so far obviously this drawer won't stay here this will go into the nursery like all that stuff will go into the nursery once we've got the nursery furniture but for now obviously it might as well go neatly away rather than being in a bag on the floor and then in this one i've just got some of my vintage parcels and i think that's literally it for now i need to put like bed linens and like extra towels i think and stuff like that in there um to be honest that's the fun of it like just having a play around on these ones we're gonna have like folders of like dan's work stuff so always paperwork because again our table is currently overrun with like well obviously it's not just work paper but paperwork but a lot of it is dan's work paperwork so that can just go neatly away up there i just need to get some like folders and stuff for him and then this will eventually be his office as well like my makeup table won't stay here and again i know this is very messy so i need to sort through some of that as well but i just don't think i'm gonna get it done today and that's also why i thought i'd finish the vlog because i'm not gonna get it all done today so there's no point carrying on filming and to be honest with you guys i am pretty exhausted from painting yesterday like i don't think you realize until you until the day's over how much something can take it out of you like when you're pregnant like i felt fine the whole way and i was literally like oh i'm so proud of myself like i did like quite a lot of the walls on my own and then helped out loads even when dan's parents came i still helped out loads and i was like i'm fine and then literally just hit me like a ton of bricks last night and then today i just feel so achy so to be honest obviously i've got to prioritize that so yeah there's no point continuously vlogging it would just get boring for you guys as well if my heart's not in it so i thought i'm just gonna stop now and hopefully you have enjoyed this video if you have then please leave a like and subscribe and hopefully i will see you in my next video i think i might do someone commented on my other video saying that you should do names that you love but might not be using so i think i'm probably gonna do that for my next video so look out for that but yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye guys